Now that we've covered all these different types of proofs, it's now probably quite daunting on what proof do I use in what situation. The advice I'd give here would be to just give it a try. You do enough proofs, after a while it becomes clear when to do what. For example, you could remember back in kindergarten when you were learning about quadratics or cubics or whatever type of polynomial, you probably asked the same question of what technique do I use in this situation. You probably saw that in calculus when you learnt about you know all these different types of rules for derivatives and whatnot, you were probably asking the exact same question, you know, when do I apply this method? When do I do this? When do I not do this? When you do enough proofs, you'll eventually see when it's appropriate to use induction, when it's not appropriate to use contradiction arguments and so on. The best advice I can give is to just practice a lot. Once you get over this initial hurdle, mathematics is not just harder techniques of proofs, Mathematics is about mathematics, so you'll, you'll study objects in mathematics and your proofs are just a tool in which you verify the things you claim about the objects in mathematics. The other thing is, well, what if I'm just stuck and I have no idea? Well, in this case, you want to just start writing, I think. I think you just want to get into as it as quickly as you possibly can and try to think about what you know about statements. So for example, if you're trying to prove that the sum of two even numbers is even, probably the first stumbling block is you don't know what an even number is. Because if you knew what an even number is, you would know how to proceed with a proof. Good thing to bear in mind is if you're confused, it's almost certainly an indication that you don't understand something about the material you're learning about, and you should actually be excited by that. You should be excited by the fact that you don't understand something because now you have the opportunity to investigate something and, and learn something further. If you go on to do research mathematics, you'll spend 24-7 being confused. You, every day you'll be confused by something new. You need to relish in that. You need to be excited by the fact that you're confused and you have the opportunity to discover more. An analogy that's worth bringing to mind is that you don't always want to get to the top of the mountain in this analogy of trying to climb the mountain. You want to know the terrain of the mountain. You want to get to know what the mountain is like, all the different tracks that can be taken. And in the course of that, you'll often discover new results and you, there'll be more elementary proofs along the way. So if you get stuck doing proofs, don't, don't worry, everyone does. You just need to keep practicing, keep trying new things. And in fact, try to prove things from multiple perspectives. Can you give a direct proof of a statement which you only know how to prove by contradiction? Can you give a contradiction argument to an inductive argument or something like that? Point is to just practice as much as you can and not worry if you fail. So I hope you've gotten a lot out of this course on proofs. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my YouTube channel where I post a lot of content regarding mathematics. Thanks guys. Bye for now.